All right, Shalom. First and foremost, Kohala, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahshah, Bashem, Rakwak, Wadash. The Blonde State at Apostles of Great Millstone at Ruel and Peace and Citations to all the Yakim out there on the, on the highways and byways all around the world, preaching the word diligently and faithfully through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahshah. So pretty much, you know, 2020, you know, it's going to be a, you know, it's just going to be, the Most High is going to take it up another level in 2020, you know, because we're just that much closer to the end and we're, and we're that much closer. Our Lord, Yahweh Shai coming back to redeem his elect and to put all the other nations in slavery, you know. But the thing is, we got to watch and still keep of the, our garments, you know. We got to keep watching. You know, we're, we're on the watch, you know. We're on the towers watching, you know, and, and anticipating what this, what this devil's next move is going to be, you know. Because he's already out there, <laughs> you know, demonizing the Hebrew Israelites, you know, demonizing us and trying to paint us as terrorists. And when real in reality, you know, the real terrorist is the so-called white man. But the most high he's the king of terrorists because he used Esau to punish us, you know, to punish the nation of Israel for us not keeping the law, statutes, and commandments that he that he said for us to keep, you know. So he used his devil to punish us, you know, for not keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. And he's also going to use this devil to punish the two thirds of the um, nation of Israel because they don't want to get right. They don't want to turn back to the Heavenly Father. They don't want to beg for mercy and forgiveness for their sins, you know. So pretty much, you know, we're anticipating. You know, for those, the, the hopeful elect out there that out there preaching on the highways and byways, doing this work sincerely, diligently, and faithfully to the spirit of power of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, In 2020, we're going to be, we're going to anticipate what, 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 what's the next move? What is the, the next move that this devil is going to do? You know, we're going to anticipate that in 2020. But this is what the but this is what our Lord Yahweh Shai said. He said in Revelation sixteen and fifteen, he says, Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments. What are we watching? We're watching for prophecy. You know? We're watching for prophecy. You know, we see things heating up over there in the Middle East. You know, all these nations rising up <laughs> against their governments, you know. Like protests, you know, uproars of the people all over the world. You know, World War Three, wars and rumors of wars. You know, that, that's taking place over there in the Middle East. You know, this is what we're watching. And it reads, and keep of his garments, least he walk naked and they see his shame, you know. So we want to keep off our garments, you know, if we're not keeping our garments, we're walking naked and and the people are seeing our shame. You know, this is what we're doing. But yet you have Esau out there, you know, demonizing the Hebrew Israelites. Us, when all we're doing is pretty much we're not, you know, taking up arms or anything or gathering weapons and going after, you know, Esau. Because the Lord said we got to wait ye upon him. You know, we are not to do that. So we're not operating on that frequency because that's carnal. That's being carnal right there. That's not wise. We're operating through the spirit, you know. We're being spiritual about this thing because the Lord said wait ye upon him until he rises up against the prey. Because ultimately, we don't have any might in our hands. 
we don't have any power to you know to go out and take down our enemies in his kingdom it doesn't make any sense you know because the lord had already put that curse on us that they shall there shall no might be in thy hands you know so we're not we're not in the spirit of going out and trying to you know take down esau and his kingdom the lord told us to wait but we all but we see right through this we we see right through esau's madness you know we see right through esau's propaganda you know because the lord said that we're not ignorant of his devices let me just get that real quick So this is 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11, and it reads, These Satan should get an advantage of us, for we're not ignorant of his devices. You see, least Satan, you know, who is Satan, the so-called white man on the earth, shall get an advantage of us. We're not ignorant. We're not ignorant of his devices. So we're not ignorant of your devices, Esau, because we see right through it, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai. We see what you're trying to do behind the scenes with this, with this demonization of the Hebrew Israelites. We see right through it. But right now, you know, you know, it's going to get to a point in time, like the elder apostle Gabar said, that they're going to get physical. They, they're going to want to get physical with us, you know. They're going to want to put their hands on us. I mean, even though some of us may be martyrs in this thing, but you're not going to kill all of us, though. You know, because the Most High will give his men spiritual powers to defend themselves in, in those days. You know. But anyway, but our people, you know, they're just in darkness, you know. They don't see what's coming down the pipe, you know, which is utter destruction. You know, 2020 is just going to be a, the Most High is going to take it up another level, you know. So, but our people, they want to continue. They want to still do their New Year's resolutions and all of that and not focusing on the Heavenly Father or prophecy that's coming to pass. Because this is the year of prophecy, and a lot of things are going to come to pass. What we've been telling you for years about the chip, you know, the RFID chip, the microchip, you know, the dollar collapsing, you know, the economy are crashing. You know, what we've been telling you for years is going to come to pass, you know. So we're just going to get that much close. We're getting that much closer and closer to, you know, this society breaking down and falling. And it's only a matter of time. Because, let me get that real quick. And then get Romans the thirteenth chapter. Select you. So Romans the thirteenth chapter verse eleven. And it reads And that knowing the time that now is the high time to wake out of sleep, for now of our for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Verse 12, because our salvation is narrower than when we when we believe. Because you see the signs in the heavens, you know, like last week, there was like a fire, fiery, fire, <laughs> there was like a fire eclipse, you know. Had an eclipse that, that was taking place, you know, across the world. That people were seeing this eclipse. You know, those are the signs of the times and the Lord said. In um, Genesis, let the let the moon and the sun be for signs and for seasons and for wonders, for times. 
So we we see the we see these things in heaven, and the Lord warned and said to the disciples, you know, when they asked him what shall be the sign of his coming, and he told them that they shall be signs in the stars and in, in the moons and and in, in the suns and in the sun. So we we see any signs and wonders taking place right before our eyes. So we know that the Lord is coming for our salvation is nearer than when we believe. We know he's coming because he told us to watch for the signs and we and these signs are coming to pass. Verse 12, the night is far spent. The day is at hand. You see, the day is at hand. So the, the, the day is already at hand. You know. The time is at hand. Time is at hand. You know, these prophecies are at hand. But our people, you know, just are still asleep. You know. They can't see these things happen and they, you know, they think this is going to be a great year for them. You know. You're not supposed to have that mentality, you know. You're supposed to have the mentality of us being in Egypt and getting ready to get out of there. You know, for the men of the Lord, you know, we have the mindset and getting ready, you know, to get up out of here because our Lord is coming back and getting ready for our Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahshua to pick us up. Lord's will. Um, first, um, so the days, so like, yeah, the night is far spent, the days are at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. You know, what is that armor of light? The armor of light is this truth, you know, coming in this truth, knowing the name of, knowing the true name of the Lord, of the Heavenly Father, the Lord, who is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and, you know, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability, and pretty much going out and doing the work. You know, and cast off the ways of this world. Verse 13, let us walk honestly as in the day, not in the rotten and drunkenness, not in bringing, not in charm bearing and wantonness, not in strife and envy. Verse 14, but ye put on the Lord, Yahweh Shai, and make not provisions for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof, you know. We're not to make provisions of the flesh, you know. You know, we're not to strive after the flesh, we strive more after the spirit. Even though the flesh is weak, but we, you know, keep striving to the spirit you know we still strive and keep our focus on Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and doing this work and not fulfilling the lust of the lust of this world you know or trying to make it in this society you know but we're supposed to stay focused on the mission and do this work through the spirit and power of our Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know. That's our resolution. <laughs> you know. Staying focused on Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know. And staying focused on doing this work. That's our resolution for the men of the Lord. You know. Not trying to make it in the society or trying to build up or trying to take part in the society, you know. But with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakwak Wadash, the blondest to the head apostles, a great millstone at Ruel, and peace and salutations to the Yakim out there on the highways and byways, doing this work sincerely, diligently, and faithfully. So with that, I want to say Shalom.